Hello everybody, Dimple here again welcoming you all back to today's session on Android Framework Components. Previous few sessions we were seeing about HIL and HIDL concepts in Android. Today uh, I'll start with AIDL for HAL layer. So what was happening, we used to communicate with the HAL layer uh, in the form of HIDL. So HIDL was the way of communication. This was an hardware interface definition language which used to uh, communicate with the lower underlying hardware layers. But now from A11 onwards, Google has changed this policy. A11 introduces the ability to use AIDL okay for HALs in Android so this makes it possible to implement parts of Android without HIDL from A11 onwards HIDL has been changed and it has been changed to AIDL so we nowhere use HIDL but we start using AIDL even to communicate with the lower layers so has using AIDL uh, to communicate between framework components such as those system image and hardware components such as vendor image must use stable AIDL so what was happening so between the framework layer and the hardware layer so between the framework layer that means system image and the hardware layer means vendor images the communication between these two is happening through AIDL however to communicate within a partition for instance from one HAL to another HAL there is no restriction we are free to use HIDL or AIDL so I hope this is clear. So if we want to communicate from framework layer to the uh, lower HAL, we are using AIDL. However, uh, we are uh, free to use HIDL or AIDL to communicate from one HAL to another HAL. For example, if my camera HAL has to communicate with a, a GPS HAL, then the developer is free to use. He can use either HIDL or AIDL according to his convenience. So that was the introduction. Now, why did Google uh, decide to use AIDL over HIDL? What are those uh, pros? So we will see that. First reason is stability. So AIDL, we are using it from long time, right? For uh, between application we use for application layers. Also we use in the framework layer. We are like quite familiar with the use of AIDL. So AIDL is more stable when compared to HIDL. That's why Google has uh, decided to shift to AIDL over HIDL. This is one of the reason. We'll see what's the next reason versioning so hidl we saw every time we make improvements we have to create a different folders with the new version name and then we have to start uh, everything again right but AIDL, there is no such confusion in the versioning layer. So we just, uh, uh, if there is an AIDL file, we just start appending to that the different interfaces. Okay, imagine I have a file where I'm developing that from years. So I want to add new functionality, new interfaces. So I add functionality in the form of interfaces. I just append those interfaces at the end of the file. And also I can uh, add interfaces at the runtime also. So, so there is no uh, versioning uh, problem. Versioning is very very easy when compared to AIDL. That is another reason Google has uh, decided to move over AIDL compared to HIDL. So and AIDL is a single IPC language. Okay, so I will be familiar with AIDL to uh, write code in my framework layer, application layer. But if I want to write code in my uh, lower hardware layers, I have to learn HIDL. That will be an extra overhead. So uh, a single language. It's a single IPC language, right? We, uh, we know AIDL. So if we learn one AIDL properly, now we can code the entire Android architecture even the lower uh, hardware layer so it's easy to learn and easy to debug and easy to customize
so it's very easy if we know one language when compared to learning two two different languages okay so that's another um, motivation why google has decided aidl over hidl so these are the three major reasons aidl is more stable when compared to hidl and there's no versioning overhead in aidl and also a single ipc language so single language we can apply throughout the entire android architecture so where to find this aidl interfaces so aosp stable aidl interfaces are in the same directories wherever we used to create hidl okay so instead of hidl there will be an aidl folder now and the same see these are the three different locations where hidl was present in the same location if we want to create our aidl we have to create so one is hardware interfaces one is framework hardware interfaces another one is system hardware interfaces these are the three different parts in the android source code where uh, the hardware related information will be provided so my aidl also i can start adding here so this is the uh, place where to add the aidl interfaces or where to find the aidl interfaces so that was a small introduction i just wanted to give why google has chosen aidl over hidl in my upcoming sessions i'll be telling more about uh, aidl so uh, today's question is uh, what is breakpoint in android few times we write android applications and we see few errors okay when our application is very big there are multiple thousands of lines of code we will not have um, a clue about where exactly the error is so that time these breakpoints come into picture these breakpoints help us in debugging our application so it will break the execution in whichever uh, parts of the code we suspect that this can be the uh, corrupted code we just have to break uh, we just have to add the breakpoints at those parts and this breakpoint will break the execution of the code so we will come to know where exactly the control flow of the code is going step by step so that is the uh, use of breakpoints in android so yeah with this we'll come to end of today's session i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone stay home stay safe bye